Hey everybody, welcome to another Market Minute with Jake. I am your host, Jake Eldridge with Realty One Group Eminence. And in today's Market Minute, we are discussing the real estate activity for Carson City, Nevada, Dayton, Nevada, Washoe Valley and Pleasant Valley, Nevada, and Mount House, Nevada. If we take a look at that region, there is currently 65 homes actively for sale right now in the region. And 39 out of that 65 indicated they would be eligible for FHA financing. I always like to make note of that because many buyers out there are not only taking advantage of historically low interest rates, but in addition to that, they are using FHA financing so they can put as little as 3.5% down as the down payment towards the purchase of that new home, making it a lot more affordable for those that thought they may not be able to because it used to be that sometimes you had to come up with upwards of 20% uh, as your down payment. So diving right into the numbers, uh, again, there was 65 total homes actively for sale. Uh, the highest list price for the region was at 4.2 million and the lowest list price at only 160,000. There was three homes for sale in that 100 to 200,000 price range, six homes in the 200 to 300,000 price range, nine homes in the 300 to 400,000 price range, 12 homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range, 10 homes in the 500 to 600,000 price range, six homes in the 600 to 700,000 price range, six homes in the 700 to 800,000 price range, four homes in the 800 to 900,000 price range, one home in the 900,000 to 1 million price range, five homes in the 1 million to 2 million price range, one home in the 2 million to 3 million price range, one home in the 3 million to 4 million price range, and one home in that 4 million to 5 million price range. So when we break those numbers down, it indicates that the median list price for a home in Carson City, Dayton, Washoe Valley, Pleasant Valley, and Mound House right now is sitting at about $572,000. The average list price is at $719,000. And if we look at the days on market activity, uh, no surprise to anybody out there, it's only at 12 days right now with the average not much higher at 28 days. Now, as you know, I do like to break things down even further because the inventory is so limited and homes are flying off the market as quickly as they come on. There's a couple of things if you are a home buyer actively searching for a home to purchase right now that you need to pay very close attention to. First, anything that is in the new status on the MLS, um, what that means is it's gonna be the most recent homes to hit the market for sale. So make sure you're looking at those right away and scheduling appointments to get in there as quickly as possible to hopefully avoid some competition. Uh, secondly, make sure you are looking at anything in a back on market status. What that means is that the homeowners have accepted an offer to purchase their property, but for whatever reason, the buyer backed out of that transaction. It could be because their financing fell through, maybe they lost their job, so the bank was not willing to finance any longer. Um, it also could be because of home inspections or possibly an appraisal issue, um, but What's good for you if that occurs is those homeowners are obviously now very likely to uh, want to get back into contract as quickly as possible. So if you can slide in there, look at that back on market property and write an offer, then uh, your competition might be a little bit less. So again, breaking the numbers down solely on the new or back on market status, there's 15 homes out of the 65 total that were for sale that are in that new or back on market status. 11 out of that 15 did indicate they would be eligible for FHA financing. The high list price was at 723,000 and the low at only 160,000. There was one home in that 100 to 200,000 price range, four homes in the 200 to 300,000 price range, three homes in the 300 to 400,000 price range, three homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range, two homes in the 500 to 600,000 price range, one home in the 600 to 700,000 price range, and one home in that 700 to 800,000 price range. 
So breaking those down, it indicates that the median list price for a home that is in that new or back on market status right now is sitting at only 399,000 and the average list price at only 403,000. So that is it for today's Market Minute with Jake. As always, if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to click that like button. If you have family or friends that might actively be searching for a home to purchase or who needs help with the sale of their existing home, I'd love the opportunity to have a conversation with them. So please feel free to tag them in this video as well. You can reach me a few different ways. Uh, first, you can call me on my cell phone seven days a week at 775-378-4976. You can email me at jakeeldridge32 at gmail.com. Or if you are watching on Facebook, simply click that send message button and you can use Facebook's messenger service to send an instant message with your questions. And I'm happy to answer that way as well. So thanks again for watching tonight and have a great night.